Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to bring to you the new Lightning Player of the Month, Jose Ramirez. And uh, a lot of people were disappointed in this card because he already has a 99 overall. And, okay, it is what it is, but let's take a look at the differences, okay? Alright, so, yes, he does have a 99 overall, but this card is a thousand, even a million percent better and a million percent different. That's all that matters. That's all card needs to have for it to have a different card or another high overall card like this card is just better and different and plus even though you might have it because you've reached prestige doesn't mean the other person has it not a lot of people will have re even reached the prestige level yet um just because you see the community uh has re reached prestige a lot of the community has doesn't mean that you know the outer banks of the community or the people that still play the game, the casual and stuff, have reached it. So it's a good way to incorporate into the game for, every, you know, everyone can have a 99 overall Jose Ramirez. Uh, but he went the freak off in in September. He had a 366 average with 10 bombs, 24 RBI, a 230 C, 237 R, WRC plus with a 1294 OPS. And he had a war of two in the month of uh, September so he went the freak off but let's look at the differences so this card not only it prestiges as well so he's gonna get plus three bump as compared to the finest card from 18 doesn't do that so he's got 95 contact versus right so he beats him in contact versus right which was good because we like that um, his PC has to be a little bit bigger against righties against lefties he crushes him with one that maxed out contact 125 contact versus left compared to only the 83 you get 42 more contact then you got the power he has a 103 power as opposed to 118 so he beats him by 15 but when he prestiges you beat him by you know 12 106 power that's still really good he's still gonna be able to tanks and then he gets lefties again he beats the crap out of him with the power 125 he's maxed out 125 125 versus lefties as opposed to 83 88 versus lefties um vision you only have 96 vision but he gets it to 99 so he only beats him by three once you prestige him and again we don't really care about vision because it's the outer pci and the inner pci is based off the uh contact rating um with the speed he is a little bit faster he ends up with 64 speed on his prestige version of the player of the month 68 speed so four more speed not like he's a burner like that in the other card stealing he does have 91 steal because uh in 18 he did steal quite a bit of bases and he's very efficient but um this year in september he didn't really steal much but another key ingredient that this card has that the other one doesn't is the fielding he has 84 fielding so he has mid-tier gold fielding with 80 arm strength and 87 reaction in the hot corner the other card only has 75 fielding with 74 arm strength and 71 reaction so he beats the crap out of him in all in all aspects of fielding this card is just playing better it is it just is and i'm pretty uh, excited to use him. The only thing that I didn't like before about um, you know Jose Ramirez is that he is a shorter player and he has a really quick swing, so it's kind of difficult to stay back with him. But I think a lot of part had to do with the PCI size. This card has a way better contact, especially versus lefty. So the PCI size should be a lot bigger. It's kind of tricky to have a small PCI with a small strike zone, um, but hopefully this contact boost helps him out. So let's see how he does in this debut video. For the purpose of the video, we'll be him in lead off. We'll go Mickey leading off, Trout in the two spot, uh, Ramirez in the three spot, Babe back in the cleanup spot. We got Jimmy in the five spot, our cap, who's an 85 overall now um, in the in the six hole. Then we got Yelich moving him down from the one spot to the, to the uh, seventh spot, just for the purpose of the video. And then Tatis in the eighth spot. We're gonna be running Jose Ramirez at third for a while. Uh, or unless, you know, we do have a Signature Series Legend coming out on Tuesday, uh, the 13th. Um, and it could very well be Chipper Jones because they, you know how they like to do. They love to drop back-to-back -back, uh, very good players at the same position. So until 99 Chipper comes out, we'll probably be running Jose Ramirez at third base. Unless, of course, we get too much trouble with that swing and that small strike zone. But we'll probably be running him at third. But... Um, he'll be hitting third for the video for the at-bats and the good positions and whatnot But he'll probably end up hitting six in this lineup and because we're gonna keep Yelich in that one spot He's too good for us there. So yeah, that's what we'll be running. Jose Ramirez will be definitely hitting in the um, Six spot for the lineup, but for the purpose of the video, like I said uh, We'll hit him third who are we gonna be starting? We're gonna be going with Casey Mize on the mound We're gonna need some more right-handed starters to come out Hopefully these finest cars like Trevor Bauer and Yu Darvish, when they do come out, I believe they're going to be finest locks. Hopefully uh, they're going to be really good because 
there's way too many guys in the lineup now that can absolutely crush lefties. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, turn the notifications on, leave a like on the video if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Also, let me know in the comment section if you're going to be using Jose Ramirez or if you're not, and tell me why you will or why you won't. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitch. The link to my Twitch channel will be in the description below. Along with my Twitter handle will be in the description below as well. So make sure you give me a follow on both platforms. Without further ado, let's get into this gameplay, baby. All right, so our opponent for this game is going to be Hacky Bud. We'll be facing a righty, so we don't get that maxed out contact and power. But again, we get the handiness advantage, and he still has good attributes versus righty. So we get to face Oral. Prestige Oral. He's going to have Mo the new player of the month, Mondesi. Uh, Prestige Mantle, Prestige Trout, Ruth, his cap, Prestige uh, Tatis, I believe, um, Ty Cobb, and then his cap, or Posada behind the plate for him. And we get a sinker right down the, well, I don't want to say down the middle, but it was low in the middle of the zone, and we're right on it. Perfect, perfect liner to start us off with a bang. 1-0 lead from Mickey Mantle. Damn, he's so fine. And now we got the debut man himself, Jose Ramirez. Let's see if we get something good to hit. Oh, that change up. Remember, he has, he has a very quick swing, so we got to remember that. And we strike out in his first at bat. Like I said, he has a really quick swing, so we got to get used to it. Too early on two pitches. There it is. Sinker in on the hands. We're going to yank that for a bomb, no doubt about that. We're a little bit off. We missed a couple sinkers, one with Trout, one with Jimmy, first pitch. But, hey, we fixed it. Like I said, we'll fix it. And we take a 3-0 lead right away. Good swing right there. And he throws us another sinker over the middle, and we do not miss that one with our cap. Back-to-back -back bombs on back-to-back -back pitches. We take a 4-0 lead right away. And here comes Christian Yelich, baby. Another sinker over the middle, and Yelich is going to hit that one to right center field for a no-doubter. This card is way too good. That's going to be back-to-back-to-back to back to back on a 5-0 lead. Let's go, baby. Now we got Tatis up. We got the pitcher up after him, so we got to be a little aggressive. We want to score again. A little aggressive. We want to score again. Another one. He missed a sinker down the middle again. Tell me that's another one. Back to back to back to back. Four in a row, baby. You cannot miss sinkers there. We take a 6-0 lead right away. Let's go. It just makes everything faster. So we get into an 0-2 count to Monacy right away. He's going to hit one sharp on the ground, unfortunately. It's right at Babe. Well, not right at Babe, but he makes a nice backhand stab and makes the play. So that's going to be one out in the inning. All right, we got 2-2 two -two count. We're going to try this fastball up and in right here. Excuse me? Excuse me? He was late timing and took that apple for a bomb. Okay. That's a head scratcher. All right. After the mishap, let's go 0-2 again. We got a two strike count again. Let's see if we get him striking out right here. Okay, he doesn't chase. I mean, I thought he chased, you know. He's very early. His nose is almost touching the ground. But, hey, they don't call it because check swings, they don't matter. There it is. Sla slurve again, low and away. We dot it up this time. That's going to be an easy out to left field. We got him early on. A good pitch right there. Oh. Missed the sinker over the middle, but whole pucker pitch though. Gets the job done. He gets on top of it, chops it over to Tatis at short. And that's going to be an easy out. We got the inning. We only allowed one run. Should have been done, but hey, it is what it is. All right. Let's go, Ramirez. I know your swing is really quick. Gosh, damn it. And he tried to throw the second. Unfortunately, he does... It's Mickey Mantle. You gotta be better. You gotta have better situational awareness, bud. But that's gonna be an error on his part. So that's not a base hit. He does get on base, but we're freaking at bad pitches right now with him. We're a little too, it's a little too antsy with him. We gotta, we gotta see pitches all the way in with him. And he throws another sinker over the middle to Jimmy, and we get a hold of that one. But it's not gonna get out. How is that not gone? But he can hit a fastball up and in late. What is going on? Oh. Uh -oh. 
And we miss a splitter over the middle, and he's gonna make us pay for it. Absolutely yanks that for a bomb with Ty Cobb. He takes, he cuts the deficit to four runs. Uh, but we know in reality. All right, let's go cut her in off the plate. Let me strike three right here. Strike three, absolute dot. We got any? We do give up one on the bomb, but hey, we still got a six to two lead. We just gotta. There it is. Slider over the middle. Mickey's going to drive that to the left center field gap. We get an easy double to start off the inning. Oh, that might be a triple. I don't know what he's doing. He might take that. Nah. That's going to be an easy triple. For whatever reason, he didn't pick up the ball. We'll take advantage of it all the way to third. Here comes Mick. Here comes Mike Trout. And we're all over that cutter. Unfortunately, we hit it right at the second base with Sharpie. It's going to be a run, but hey, we'll take it. We're right out. We're on it. Just doesn't get through the hole. All right, here comes a Ramirez. See if he gives something to drive. He's throwing some good pitches to Ramirez, man. Ah, sinker loan away. Again, another dot. He's been, he, he's dotting to Ramirez and it's getting me. That should be a base hit through the hole. It will get through the hole. Good hit right there. Now nah, we won't be able to make it a second. We beat the shift on that one, and now we got Tatis up with two outs, and we got to be aggressive if we want to score this inning because the pitcher's up to after him. There it is. Sinker down the middle. Tatis hits his second bomb of the game. That time, it's a no-doubter. Absolute tank right there. We take a 9-2 lead. Beautiful swing. Let's go. A fast follow-up in. Come on. Uh-oh. And Yelich is going to yank that. Good swing right there. We didn't really miss our spot. But hey, he yanks it for a bomb. Like I said, Yelich is very scary. His swing is really, really good. All right, we'll try to cut her middle end right here. Yes, sir, we get a job done. That's gonna be an easy grounder over to second. My man's is there, easy play. Luckily hits a sharp on the ground over to Tatis. That's gonna be an easy play. That was a butthole pucker pitch. That could have been very bad, but hey, we got two outs in the inning. So back to back outs, good bounce back so far. Let's get out of it with three straight after the bomb and uh, only give up one run. And we're gonna roll that over. That's Jose Ramirez's first play over at third. He's gonna make a backhand play, easy play for him. And uh, those are the fastball middle end. We're a little bit on the later side of good. He might be able to catch that. No, that's gonna get off the wall. Is that gonna be a second triple? It is going to be a second triple. If I would have hit the double, I would have had to cycle, but fuck it. We're trying to win a ball game. That's going to be a run, but Mike Trout has been fucked twice in the last two straight at-bats. We get a fastball out the middle. We're all over it, but later side of good. Is that going to be enough? Over? No, it's not. Later side of good is so, so... So bad, apparently. We kind of got fucked over with Jose Ramirez, honestly. Because that was a fastball on the middle. We were all over it. And yes, he's later side of good, but he has 125 pop. Why can't he take that oppo for a bomb? It's out in the middle. And getting outs. That's going to be a grounder over to, to sorry, to Babe. That's going to be a 363 double play. <laughs> we got very lucky because that was hit very hard for one and for two. My goodness, what are we doing? There it is. Strike three, we get him early on the slurve. Good pitch right there. Strike three, blown by him on the fastball. Good pitch right there, let's go. Strike three on the changeup. That was a butthole pucker one, but he's early on it. Two in a row for Billy, let's go. Slider, we strike out the stride. Three in a row, let's go baby. All right, debut man. Slider down the middle. We're on the later side of good. That's going to be another week. Oh, fuck. I'm pissed. 0 for 5 with them. Not a good debut by any means. And we missed the sinker. Fuck, man. Fuck, I just missed it. That should not be gone. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, so we get a 10-3 lead going to the bottom of my life. Let's close it out. I am not happy with my performance. Yes, I scored 10 runs, but we should have had way more runs. We should have had fucking more hits. Strike three on the changeup. He had the leadoff hit, but we get the strikeout. Let's get out of this inning. Come on. Roll him over right here. Double play. Good pitch. Strike three on the check swing. That's 5K for Billy Wagner. We're going to let him close it out. See, he gets six in a row in his, in his outing. I was about to say debut. It ain't his debut. Are we going to be able to catch that? We are. He flies out to the wall to end the game. We win 10 to 3. Unfortunately, Jose Ramirez does go 0 for 5. We got to get used to his swing. It's very, very freaking quick. We just got to get used to his swing. That's honestly, that's what it is. I got to get used to his swing, and I think I'll be fine. But uh, we're going to keep running him at third. Um, and. Give him some run until 99 Chipper comes out. If he doesn't, you know, we don't get used to his swing, we'll go back to Hornsby. That's fine by me. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn the notifications on. If you haven't, leave a like on the video. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below and let me know what you think about Jose Ramirez, all right? Also, make sure you follow me on Twitch. The link to my Twitch channel will be in the description below, along with my Twitter handle as well will be in the description below. So make sure you follow me on both platforms. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.